I don't know. Um, so it's been a super long time if you're watching this on YouTube. I have not filmed or posted a video in like a super long time. Um, I think going on about 11 months now. So I used to think um, like I'm back videos were kind of weird because I think I thought in the back of my mind, like not to be a salty bitch, but I guess when people like, I saw like these super dramatic videos about like, oh my God, I'm back now, like blah, 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 I'm so sorry. I guess I sort of felt like, well, it's, you know, you're right not to post online. Why are you saying sorry to people? Um, and I don't think that I have a large enough or the type of like social media followers that were like, oh my God, when is more content coming out on this channel? Um, but I did have some super sweet people that were like, are you alive? Like, is everything okay with your life? You're not like on the internet anymore. So anyway, I'm back on the internet now. Um, I came back online in around about sometime in September. Um, very end of October and I kind of wanted to chit chat about some kind of like changes it's like primarily I have like a bunch of cats I imagine if you're watching this you like know that <laughs> especially because my intention is to stick this on YouTube um, but we'll see so anyway my disclaimer is because you'll hear weird noises and see things and my camera will jiggle and stuff like that so what I did was I took a depth year, right? So this is something that was going around YouTube and in the online witchy communities at the beginning of the year about how a lot of folks were trying to take a depth year, meaning they were going to not sign up for as many like new things, not start new projects, not start new hobbies, um, reduce their consumption and buying of things and kind of explore themselves and things that they already might be interested in so that rather than flitting from shiny thing to shiny thing you are taking a moment to like deepen into your authentic self to really take some time to figure out where you want to um, spend your time what makes you the happiest and what if you take a step back from it you don't actually care about coming back to so in that depth year um, I did a lot of um, inner work on myself. So one of the major changes that came out of that depth year is the fact that I am ditching my online pen name, username, pseudonym, whatever you want to call it. So back when I started um, being involved in online communities related to spirituality, the first community that I joined up with was a few years ago on the Amino app and it was over in the Hatchling clan. And in the Hatchling clan, there's a lot of folks that are on the younger end of the internet use spectrum, like they're teenagers, they're still minors. So it was extremely encouraged in the code of conduct, which I think is a really good idea that people use, um, you know, fake names, pseudonyms, pen names, screen names, like back in your own AOL, like messenger days, things like that, just to protect people's personal privacy and internet security. So at the time I joined that community, I was in an extremely dark place with my anxiety, particularly um, kind of the social anxiety aspect of that. Um, I was not, I was like literally not leaving my house except when I absolutely had to at work, um, not wanting to go to grocery stores, not wanting to be even um, in the front part of my house where I could hear cars coming back and forth because that was like really overwhelming and stuff back then. Um, I was just really jumpy and in a super bad place. Um, so not in that place now, FYI, it's like a whole point of this transition conversation. So my point to that is up until that uh, point in my life, I had been doing a lot of role fulfilling. You know, like I was a child, I was a student, um, I was one of those people that have very doggedly and determinedly just charged through my education. Um, so I graduated high school at 16, finished college at 20, uh, finished law school at 24, um, I think. So those aren't like exceptional ages. I'm just saying I didn't take any breaks 
um, and just kind of charged on through. So when I entered into my profession and I had some professional and, I mean by some, I mean like some significant professional and financial setbacks, that was really jarring to my entire personal identity because if you make your entire life um, getting graded and that's how you kind of allow people to establish your self-worth, you know, by your grades or by your work productivity or your professional reputation. Um, if something happens to those things, then you're just left this empty shell of a person who has no idea what even brings them joy. So, um, hence this deep dive into spirituality. But at the time, I wasn't really sure where I was going with my spirituality exploration. And so I am old enough that social media and computers in the house has not been something that I grew up with. Um, I didn't have a Facebook until college. Um, it's just not something I was on board with. I didn't have a smartphone until grad school at all. Um, so I had never really been on the social media and internet scene. And a reason for that is because I feel like now with social media, you're creating this like permanent record of every transformational and transitional like period of your life. And so when it came to spirituality, it's not so much that I was, I, I don't know, I don't want to say it's not so much that I'm afraid because, you know, like hiding our true self does um, oftentimes become rooted in fear. But I wanted a place where I could explore those things without commentary or judgment for the outside world. So I created my username, which was Lagatha Scarlet. Lagatha based off of Vikings, um, and Scarlet based off of Urza Scarlet from the fairy tale anime. And that is the name I used. I started uh, creating content, YouTube videos, not many, but a few YouTube videos. Um, I started writing some articles for a web magazine called Coffee Table Coven, and that's the uh, name that I used online. And so when I, um, I didn't have a Facebook for many years, but I created a Facebook uh, just because there are some local businesses in town that don't have websites and they only um, post their stuff through Facebook. So I had to create an account so I could see and participate in those things. I chose to use the name Life of the Scarlet there as well because Facebook isn't a big networking platform for me. Like I said, I really just use it for those kinds of things. Um, and for messenger groups, like for community events, um, things like that. And I wanted to be able to keep a work-life balance in my social media. But as I became um, better at working through my anxiety and things like that, I started coming to the fact that um, a root trigger for me, for my anxiety, appears to be if I feel like my actions and interactions with the outside world are inconsistent with who I think I am. So the fact that I was kind of in a sense living this double life, you know, like I have Lag of the Scarlet in my me time who like explores these things and has all these people that she talks to and feels like really confident and like authentic in those interactions. But then I have like the physical world me of Whitney who um, under the guise of I want to be like private and have privacy, had these like whole realms to myself that the people I interact with on a daily basis, right down to my family, had no idea about. So I'm sitting here feeling unfulfilled because of inauthentic shallow interactions, but I am refusing to give the people that I interact with the information that they would need to get to know me better. So. That has been an eight minute and 52 second lead up to the fact that I am going to be ditching and I'm transitioning out of that online username. So um, you're gonna start seeing my actual name, Whitney, pop up on things. So those of you that know me as Lagatha or as Lag, and that's how you refer to me online is totally cool. You can keep doing that. I will continue to answer to Lag or Lagatha for a long time, I imagine. Um, but my name is Whitney. That is the name that I'm gonna start using and that's the name that I am going to begin um, creating content under. I am co-authoring a book that's gonna be published um, hopefully next year um, by GBR Publishing. So that is going to be under uh, my real name as well. So I'm gonna leave YouTube the same. I'm gonna leave my channel name Lag at the Scarlet because I'm lazy and I don't wanna go and change any of my links. Um, but for the rest of what I do, you're gonna see that change. So 
um, stick around if you feel like it. And if I feel like making more content, I will be sure to share.